Charlie Parker, Universe's greatest space ranger, has just completed a really great mission. There was so much action and really cool stuff. So, Charlie and his crew, Lady with the Mustache and Bumps the Android Predictor, are ready for some relaxing and partying. But, it never ends with Charlie, and before he knows it, him and his ragtag team have been called into a new mission. This one is against the Deadly Psylocks, an evil race with intentions to control the world. But, will they succeed? Tune in and watch the exciting Charlie Parker in Space, the movie. Guys, I am exhausted. Wow, wow, wow. That was the craziest mission we have ever had. That was incredible, guys. Oh, yeah. That was a delicious miss mission. Yes, the mission was good. The mission was good. That was crazy. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, you, lady with the mustache, and uh, you... Bumps the predictor. You hold on a sec while I tell you kind of my thoughts of that last mission. Okay, Charlie. You go first. You tell your perspective. Woo. All right, I'll tell my side of the story last. Well, first, the action was simply incredible. The way those gargantuan snakes kind of bit down on us and we had no idea what to do and then you lady with the mustache had that very clever idea to kind of like build that uh you know that laser pistol and get us out of there and you bumps your prediction wasn't quite right but you helped us out nonetheless so i think what we'll do is what we usually do is i'll kind of um we'll go around the table and kind of say what that mission did for us and how we felt about it so I'm going to start with you, lady with the mustache, and you, you kind of tell us what you thought of the la la last mission. And don't worry, after we're done, we'll get to partying. So come on, lady with the mustache. I'm all ears. Tell us what you thought of that. Very good, Mr. Charlie Parker. Now my perspective, okay? Well, first, you was a big doo-doo. It was so bad. I luckily use my expertise, which you know, that's why you have me on this team. And I quickly constructed the laser goulash. And that laser goulash did all kinds of things. It slayed that monster. It slayed him right by the belly. And his belly split right open, you understand me? And it split right open, and bumps were swallowed. <laughs> and when bumps Emerged, he flew across the Eldian forest. And Charlie, you were a little worse for wear after that. And don't worry, lady with the mustache, you got you. Well, anyway, that's my side of the story. You guys were some big doo doo, and I was looking good. The whole time, looking good. Very interesting, and thank you so much for giving us that perspective. Um, and now, Bumps, I haven't forgotten about you. Tell us from your perspective. I'm going to ignore that. Your view on the mission so far. Well, first, you were right, Mrs. Lady with the mustache. That's what did happen. I got swallowed by that beast. You think I liked it? You think it did good for me? But these joints? I tell you, I've been in more sticky situations than uh, within a jar of uh, honey. That joke was predicted to get 
I laugh 30% of the time. And you see, as a robot, they also sent me flying. I've been flying more than a, a pilot at flight school. That joke was gonna bomb. I knew it. Um, as a robot, my perspective was, well, I predicted that monster did not eat. It was wrong. I take full responsibility for that. As a robot, I should have known these things, but my joints are rusty and it's been a while since I've been updated. I don't know why I paused it. But you see, that is my assessment of the situation. But I'm glad that you did your parts leading with the massage. And I must say, I distracted the monster. He probably figured to eat me first because I was my vessel of information. And without me, you guys would be at a loss. So I think I did my part being eaten first while you did your magic, while Charlie distracted. He ate me, and I was a nothing. I love it, Bumps. I love it. Well, we got that out of our way. I think we have nothing, nothing planned. So let's just fly through space and let's, come on, let's turn on that music and let's dance. I love it. Let's put it on. Don't stop me. Got a message. Come on. Patch it through. Oh. Why does he have to call us all the time? Why does that guy have to call? He call Charlie! You there, Charlie! Charlie! You there! Charlie! Come in, Charlie! Come in! Stop your partying! Come in! Come in! This is your boss! This is your Sergeant Peppers! Hello? General Custard? Yeah? Come on. We just got back from our mission. We just want to relax for a while. You know how it is. Come on. Please just let us relax. Now listen! You did fine, okay? You did fine with the last mission. But we got a new mission for you, and you gots to do it. You gots to. You gots to. I'm the sergeant. I speak the shots. Don't forget who signs your paychecks. I want you to travel with your ragtag to the sentient system, and I'm going to land on the planet Candelabra. And when you're on that planet Candelabra, you're going to find a species. Now, they're a bad species because they start controlling everybody around. They're controlling everybody. They start controlling our troops. They're controlling the ganglion's troops. They're controlling the horse thief's troops. They're starting to gain some power. And Charlie, we can't let that happen. No. So Charlie, you gotta infiltrate those, those Psylocks. And you gotta stop them, eradicate them by any means necessary. Okay? And I won't take no, I'm your boss. Over and out. I'll send the coordinates. Okay, yes. You sign the bills. What, is, what do you want us to do? Okay. Yes. Fine. Well, I guess we have no choice. Another mission. 
That sounds like horse doo doo, but he signs our bills. So we must do it. All right, well, I guess we're off to fight them Psylocks then. Lady with a mustache, bumps Android, you guys ready? Fire us up, we got the coordinates, let's go to that system. Wow, the Psylocks, let me see if I know any information about the Psylocks. The P is silent in the Psylocks. All right, let's get this baby to hyperdrive. Mm. Oh, something's wrong. Let me try again. Mm. Something's wrong. Let me try one the third time. Mm. Lady with a mustache, can you diagnose this problem? Charlie, we have a problem down here. Give me a second to assess the problem. Ah yes, it's the decompression defibrillator. It's busted. Clean busted, we'll need to get a new one. A broken what? What's with that jargon? A defibrillator modular? Well, we'll have to go buy a new one then. Um, yeah, I know there's a Trader Joel's kind of a short jaunt away. Should we just go there then? Okay, well I know there's a Trader Joel's nearby. I mean, potentially, you can just drop me off there and I'll go pick up a piece. Would you like to do that? That Trader Joel's is not bad. All right, let's go there then. All right, we're there. Do you want to go down, lady with the mustache? Should I beat me down? You can go talk to him. Get us one. Okay, we're here now. I'll go to the transporter room. You can beat me down. Let's do that. Okay, I'm in the transporter room now. Let it get me all, you know, germs and stuff. I see you're driving that beautiful ship over there. Well, what can I do for you? Yeah. You're looking for a part. Mm -hmm. I can reckon that. We need a new part. It's called a decompression defibrillator. Maybe you have that piece? Oh, yes, yes. A demodulator defibrillator? It's gonna cost you a pretty penny, but yeah, we can get her done, we can get her done. Yeah, it's gonna cost you 7,000 space credits. Oh, you do? In your pocket? Lucky. 5,000 credits? No problem. Let me give you the money. Here. You got it right there? Well, thank you, Will. And here's the part. Give me the part now. Thank you. Say, what are you off to anyway? Matter, I, my curious mind, inquire. Yeah, we off to the sentient system, and I think the planet's called Candelabra. We off to hunt a species called the Psylocks. You heard of them? Yes. You're off to the sentient plant system to face the Psylocks. I gotta warn you about them Psylocks, man. They crazy. I'll tell you what, I knew an old fella, Humpty Jackson, he went up there about, I reckon about three years ago, and, uh, well, 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 he got run with the Psylocks and they controlled his brain.
Yes, ma'am. They went right up in his brain and made him do all kinds of crazy things. They made him walk over there and walk over there, all kinds of crazy things. They made him jump up and jump down and sing hallelujah to the ground. They did all kinds of crazy things. They made him spin around and touch the sky. They made him jump around until he went bye-bye. They did all kinds of crazy things. I tell you, those Sidocks are not to be trusted. Not, no, 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 not to be trusted one bit. I say, they're doomed if you go that one. Yeah, you can't trust them one bit. Oh, that's good to know. Well, Charlie's not afraid of nobody. I could tell him to heed the, the warning, but he's, he's, he's a, he's a, you know, he goes straight into the, the, the problem, right into the bowels, right into the straight ahead, he, upcoming traffic, he's not afraid of nothing. Well, I'll tell him for sure, I will. Well, I'm happy to, to tell you that information, ma'am. And I hope that part works for you. In fact, I know well because this is Trader Joe's and we guarantee success. Successful parts every time. That's from our hearts. Okay, well, you've been kind, Dole. I thank you. All right. Yes. Okay, bye-bye. Um, okay. See, ma'am. Might be a bit bold here. But, uh, before I go, might I ask for a little peck on the cheek from this pretty girl? You. A kiss? You get fresh with me, boy? Why you? <laughs> well, goes to show ya. Beat me back up, I got the pot. Okay, let's do the drums and stuff again. All right, beat me up. Ooh, what a day. We do a mission, and now they want us what? To go on another mission? Oh, I think it's time that I reminisce. I just need some time away. Computer? Please play, play Memo 5872. Don't be silly, Charlie. It's me, Ethel. The greatest love of your life. You know I just love you. I love you. I love you. And nothing can come between us. Oh, it's gonna have... We're gonna have a wonderful life together, you and I. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. And you think I'm ravishing, don't you? Oh, we are just meant to be together forever. Computer? Please play memo 578272A. Oh, Charlie, that was such a great idea you had today to go to the evil alien hedgehog zoo. I know it's just going to be a wonderful time, and it'll just be us and nothing bad will happen because I have my love and you have your love, and together, together, together we can love each other forever. Come on, Charlie, it's just up ahead, the evil alien hedgehog exhibit. Come on, take my hand, Charlie. Mwah, there's a kiss. I just love you, Charlie. What could possibly go wrong on this day of all days? Computer, please play memo 589728B. Charlie, ooh, Charlie, they're biting me. Oh, Charlie, ow, ow, the hurts. Ow, get him off me. Get him, ow. Oh, that hurt. Ah, Charlie, they're really biting me. Ah, get them off me. Charlie, they really hurt me. Ah, Charlie, ah, oh, ah, they just ripped off my hand. Ah, Charlie, Charlie, help. It's really hurt me. Charlie, it's really hurting me. C Computer, please play memo 57897B. Oh, 
you're back, lady with the mustache? Great. All right, I'm back up. I'll walk to the engine room and I'll put the pod back in. All right, I'm in the engine room now. Here's the pot. All right, it should be back on. Give the ship a test, and if it is, it should be good. All right, lady with the mustache, let's hope that you fix this. Let's go. It's working. We go to hyperdrive. Seems like you did a great job to me. Godspeed, Mrs. Lady with Mustache. Godspeed. here thanks to my driving <laughs> thanks to my driving we're here by far my name ain't Charlie Paco yeah anyway this is Candelabra I parked us right near uh, a cantina let's go check out some music and uh, have a couple drinks and we'll kind of ask for information maybe we, some of these people might know about the Silox you think that's good team all right yeah boy we made it yeah, take us down. I think those beers would sound lovely. Cool. Cool. Beam it down. Drums. Yeah, I'm right here, Charlie. Let's go in and get us some drinks. Yes, that is a very good idea for us to go down to the planet. Beam us down now. You say germs, I say virus. Clean. Yes, we have made it down. You are right. I see the cantina is that way. Let's go. Cool. Well, let's get beamed down and uh, let's grab some brews, boys and girls, robots. All right. All right, I'm in the warping room now. They're taking away my germs and they're gonna put me down. All right, I'm on the planet now. You too? You too. Cool. Let's, uh, let's get a couple drinks. Pardon me, Barky. I'd like three of your local brews. Ooh, this one's for you. This one's for you. You, robot. You can drink. I've seen you. This one's for me. It's bigger than yours. <laughs> well, all right, let's go sit over there. Thanks for giving me this beer. It's good, it's good. I'll tell you that. It's good. Yeah, the planets always make their good brews. Except for the donkey planet. I am going to sit now, right here. You guys start with the banter, and I will chime in some jokes or some predictions. I predict this beer will taste awful. My prediction was wrong. I say this stuff is really good, huh? It's amazing. All over the world, they find a way to make some good beer, huh? You agree with that? Well, you see that weird turtle creature up there? I'm gonna go talk to him. Something tells me he knows where the silos are. Hold my beer, make sure it doesn't get, you know, too warm. I'm going, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, yeah, you go quiet about information. Me and Bumps will stay here and finish the, the bruise. Okay, Charlie, I agree with that. You go talk to them, and me and Lady with the Mustache will converse. Hey, my 
to have a word with you. Hello, Charlie Parker. Yes, your reputation is well known around these parts. What can I do for you? We're kind of looking for someone. A species, really. Maybe you've heard of them. They're called the Silux. The what? The Silux? No, 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 no. Please, don't mention them here. Okay, I'm talking quiet, I'm talking quiet. You're scared of them, aren't you? Well, here's 40 credits. What do you know? Well, I appreciate the money. Well, if you must know, if you look over yonder over the mountains all day, there's a purple sea. You didn't hear it from me. Okay. Over the blue mountains and in the yellow desert, that is where they make their home. Thank you, Turtle. You've been very kind to me. So I says to him, I says, you do this again to me and I'll smack you again. I know one kissed me on the cheek, that's what I told him. Oh, you're back, Charlie. So, where'd that go? I can't believe that guy got fresh with you. Yes, hello, Charlie. What have you learned? All right, guys. Well, I talked to the, t the turtle, and uh, he told me that it's past those blue mountains, and in the yellow desert, that's where they'll make their home. Well, it's true what they say about turtles and talking. They like to talk. Very well. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Very well. Let's just go then now. Let's go. Okay, we're almost at the Blue Mountains now. Okay, let's get up this Blue Mountain. We are climbing up the Blue Mountains now. Yes, we are. Great, we have made, a, made it over that. Now let's walk through the Yellow Desert. Is that a beacon? Ooh, guys, I'm feeling dizzy. I'm feeling real dizzy. You all right? Good heavens of mercy. I'm feeling tired too. Well, see you next week. Oh, crazy. You guys are feeling tired. I'm feeling woozy. Computer, that's slang for computer tired. Whoa. A tram. We Cyrox will not be defeated by humans or by robots. We, our minds are too strong and we will put an end. For we the Cyrox have one saying. Control everything, control it all, control everything, control it all. Hi world, David Brenner here. Just finished the first day of shooting uh, Charlie Parker's face. Um, it's going well, I'm having a good time. Um, let me take a little breather, come with me. I'll kind of show you, this is kind of how the studio has been going. We'll be kind of doing the work in front of a green screen today. I'm not sure if we're going to do some practical work, but we're going to take a look. Um, let's go sit outside for a bit. Uh, yeah, this shit's been going okay. It's been going fine. We've been enjoying ourselves. Uh, here's the 
the cat of my the cat of my life right here. Hey Michael. He's a good boy. Um a lot of people ask me if I enjoy acting. I, I like it. I would like to get into more serious stuff, but I'm I'm blessed to do be doing it. Oh, it got dark outside. That's okay. Um, we'll keep walking a bit. Um, I think this is a motion sensor. I'm not too sure. Let's take a look. If not, let's go. Let's head back inside to the set. I think everyone just went for a break. So I'll kind of show you. I got a, my beverage here. Um, bing. <laughs> Strong stuff. Packs a bang. Call it bing. I'll kind of show you some how the magic works here. Um, this is uh, Leslie. She plays Lady with the Mustache. She just went for a break, too. This is kind of, this is her hair piece. We kind of have to be careful. For a laugh, we kind of keep it on a on a draft, as you can see. Oh, kill. She's gonna kill me if I wreck this. <laughs> um, so we're gonna see. Um, I can see we have the lights, everything. It's an old, we're doing it in kind of in an old room, but you can't tell with under the magic. There's no way of knowing. Here's kind of the computer where we edit it. So, um, yeah, David Brenner. Woo. I'm feeling woozy, guys. <gasps> what? Oh, guys. I just had the craziest dream. But it's definitely not real. See, we're locked up. There's bars in front of me. Lady? With the mustache? Is that you? <sighs> Ooh. I had the craziest dream. Things were not like they seem. I'm in a jail. Charlie? The guy's locked up in here. I'll try to figure out how to get us out. This is a we're stronger than titanium. It's gonna be hard to get us out. But I'll try. Bumps, you're here too. You run some assessments. Maybe we can get out of here. Ugh. Charlie, is that you? Lady with a mustache? We appear to be imprisoned by something. I predict that this metal will be very weak. Correction, this metal is very strong. I do not know how we will get out of this. I will think of things. But I am feeling woozy again. Oh, I'm feeling woozy again. trance another sleep it's just me what's that shield of light you tali i have come to free you i am the elder here on this planet and my time is not long but listen charlie parker but listen lady with the mustache but listen bump android i will free you from this prison but it will be my last thing i do on this planet before I meet my death. So listen and listen good. The Psylocks can be stopped. They mustn't win. So what I want you guys to do is to travel not to the Purple Sea, but farther on through the Yellow Sea. And 
there you will find a most fearsome shape-shifting troll. And this troll is very fierce. You see, fierce, fierce. It's a different planet, I say fearless. Anyway, you must travel through the Yellow Sea and face the shape-shifting troll. And when you defeat him, you will find the candle of hope. Light this candle of hope and the Psylocke's power will be no more. They will fade away in a strange manner and you will restore this planet's peace, and this galaxy's peace, and this universe's peace. Now go. My powers are weak. I feel death approaching. Now! I thank you, Elderbird, for all that you have done. You have freed me, and I will make the most of this. I will run fast down the green desert, and I will find that shape-shifting troll, and I will retrieve the candle, and I will make it all right again. Thank you, Elder Bird. Thank you. Better get out of here. Whew. Got out of there. So I traveled this blue desert. It says it's a long journey. Let's speed this up. Ooh, I've been walking for hours. Um. Hey, who's that up ahead? Who am I? Well, I am you. It's a pleasure to finally see me. <laughs> you. You are not me. I know. You are that shape-shifting troll demon that I was warned about. Yes, but... A shape-shifting troll? That is ridiculous! I am you, I say, I am you. But now we gotta put them up because it's time for the battle. Let's do it then. But I warn you. This should finish him. Why did you have to go and hit me like that? Fine! Have your stupid candle anyway! Bye! Holy, holy candle It's a candle in the candle of light Holy, holy, yeah, yeah I've got the candle now And luckily a lighter came with it too Now to light this And we'll send those Psylocks back It's lit. Ooh, it's lit, Gunlo. Silox, fear. Don't, Charlie. Don't, don't. Our powers are fading now as we speak. But please, before you deliver the killing blow, just listen. Just listen. But well, we know, we have seen in your mind that it was your fault that Ethel died. And so, you are willing to change it for you. Turn off that candle now. Just turn it off. And I promise, we will create for you a reality. A beautiful reality. That you can live with Ethel forever. Forever with Ethel. How does that sound? Forever with Ethel. Because it was your fault. It was your fault. Put the, our last, with our last magic, let's put that it was his fault into his brain. It was your fault. It was your fault that Ethel died. It was your fault. Wait, what? You want to give me Ethel back? Ethel? 
never been offered to me before. I did. I did. Did I? Did I kill him? Did I? Did I really? Did I? Did I? Don't let him do this to you! Remember that letter! That letter that Ethel wrote! Remember? You're right. The, the letter that she wrote me. She wrote me a letter and she said that if I'm ever contemplating bringing her back and I'm getting blamed for the death of her and uh, it's clearly by an evil alien race that I should read that letter that she sent and only in that situation, this sounds about close to that time, I'm going to do it. I'm going to open that letter that's been in my pocket for all these years. Here it is. Let's read it. Charlie Teehee, if you are reading this, then you got this letter, then you are definitely in a spot right now that might seem kind of puzzling. I bet you it's an alien race and they're offering you... Well, first of all, something must have bad happened to me, but we won't... I'm just writing this just in case. I doubt it. I'm sure we're going to live together forever and ever. Nothing could possibly bad happen to me. But I'm saying just in case... Just in case there's a big freak accident and you're blaming yourself. I wrote this just for that reason. You're blaming yourself. You're blaming yourself every day. And some alien race that's kind of super intelligent is using that. If they're using that to kind of try to make you feel, to kind of try to lure you into some kind of trap, you know, some kind of trap where you'll kind of fall victim, you know, just don't do it. Don't accept that. Defeat them. It's not your fault, Charlie. I know you love me, and you never wanted me to die. It's not your fault, Charlie. I love you, now and forever. Yours truly, Ethel. P.S. You should see a doctor about that, you know. I'm not going to get into it here, but if it kind of starts spreading, you should definitely go see a doctor. Your penis. So it wasn't my fault. I can't take the blame for it. I must move on. Cyclo Cylox? Your time is through. Prepare to be sent to the other world. A ban. What? He sees through our magic? The mission was good.